Devin, show us how this thing opens up and uh, turns into an actual camping trailer. Okay, we start off, uh, it's a relatively simple setup. We start off, most important thing within the uh, trailer that you have is leveling it. You don't want to be rolling off into the into the floor there. So we've just got stabilizer jacks here that we just drop down on all four corners. And then we uh, just get it to a level, level platform there for you. You're just gonna have to go around and uh, find out what works for you. Fortunately, it won't do it by itself. And how do you actually level it? You've got a little uh, bubble on the top well, there. I've got a bubble on these. I, I'm leaving it up to customer's preference as far as how they want to level because everybody has their own little decal or some ways that they like to do it best. Okay. Um, that really helps. Or if in a bind, you know, a solo cup filled up to a rib in the cup works great. You can see if it's off or not. Cool. Okay, now we've got it fairly level. And then the next step, what you want to do is secure the tires. Make sure you have wheel chocks on them or rocks, something to keep the trailer from rocking back and forth. And then uh, from this point on, pull out the rear step that you have there. And we have latches on this side that securely hold the door, door down. So I'm undo those. And then raise the uh, support legs for the bed platform and pull them out to a uh, estimated height of what you'll need. I usually tend to err on the side of extending them out a little longer because that uh, still allows you to adjust them at that point. Set it down to the next step to level the door. You want to look down the door, look at the trailer frame, just look, you know, for uh, general levelness there. This side looks pretty good. I might go up one more notch. Once you got this nice and level and secure, we'll just quickly undo these straps. Then we have here the tent and the frame neatly packed away in its own separate compartment so you don't get any issues with uh, gear rubbing against it, creating holes and getting the tent itself dirty. And so we'll pull it from here. Pull it out over this side. And we'll stand on the tongue here. The tent frame is just collapsible. You don't have to do anything but pull it up. Lock and lock here. Same with the other side. At this point, we'll go ahead and put the canvas on this door to get it out of the way so the inside door can come out. Be free of that. And the inside door works the same way, just in reverse. Or not really in reverse, and in the opposite of the other door. Look down the side again, make sure it's level with the tub. And then we'll repeat the process of pulling the tent frame over on this side. You know, if you're a little shorter, you can also stand up here. It makes it a lot easier to pull it over. And as you get experience with setting up the trailer, you can actually do it without getting inside of it. If it's muddy or snowy, you don't want to track all that inside. You can uh, do it that way. And a lot of that depends on how you fold it up as you put it away. I have Velcro straps here to secure it to the support frame. Hold it on the sides again. We have bungees here that pull back behind these supports to hold the tent tight to keep the bugs out. We'll repeat that process on the other side. Snap it to the frame. Put the bungee underneath to keep it tight once again. There's another snap here. And we'll repeat the same process for this side. And then the door, similar to a Jeep style hinge, a little bit of motivation there, pops off. And then through the same style hinge, hooks in underneath the tent frame. And I'm currently out of a table stand here, but it gives you a nice little nightstand table here. I'll give you a place to put all your um, alarm clocks and lights that way to give you. So Devin, that's pretty quick, man. Seven minutes. Put the whole thing together. Are we done? This is it. Yeah, you just go ahead and continue snapping the trailer on the sides and you're done. Wow. And then so maybe ten screen. minutes at the most. Ten minutes at most. You know, somebody who's put it together several times, especially two people can do it. 
in about five minutes. And like I said, the, the most critical part and the most time consuming part is leveling the trailer. Gives you a really nice experience there. And you might have noticed we have these uh, guy wires here and we have three D rings on the, the trailer there. Um, in order, the, the trailer itself can stand up to the weather itself. But, you know, if you're in a lot of high wind or possibility of snow or a lot of heavy rain, if we have the guy wires, you can pull it tight and keep it uh, nice and secure and add that extra element of secureness to the trailer. Um, in addition to that, we have Cordura tenting, which if you're familiar with that, it's extremely durable, durable material, it won't tear. Um, very, very, very high water resistance. Keeps you out of the elements and it uh, makes a really long lasting tent material for you, so you don't have to worry about um, the life of that material. And so, I, both sides the same uh, length or width? This one's a couple inches wider, it's 50 inches wide, 82 inches long, which is the overall dimension of the trailer. Um, and you can get away with putting a queen size air mattress on it, which makes it nice. I mean, you get yeah. some of the comforts of home. And this side's a full size air mattress. Um, sleeps for very comfortably, gives you plenty of room inside. And one other thing that helps is nice, you know, versus a, a tent, you have uh, this top frame here also has spot staying hangers. And it's extremely durable. I wouldn't really recommend this. We only have it at 30 pounds, but you know, I got 180 pounds hanging on it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna break on you. It's gonna handle the weather. It's gonna handle the, the wind. Then we have big zip down windows. Let the mountain air in. Very cool, Devin. This is an awesome rig, man. Thanks, I appreciate what it. Else, what else uh, do you want to let the, the consumer know about the Simply Rugged trailers? Um, give it a try. It's hard. You know, I know it looks small in pictures and videos, but once you get inside there and feel it, feel the stability and experience camping off the ground, away from the rocks and the, the uneven ground, um, really is a really nice camping experience. And just last couple things, how wide is it overall now when you're set up? It folds out just about uh, 12 feet, like about 12 6 actually. Okay, and how tall? 6 10. Perfect. That's, that's plenty of headroom, you don't have to bend, bend over every time you get dressed, get out of bed. Yeah. Then, now tell me your recent trip that you guys did, you guys had a shower and carried all kinds of, tell me how much stuff you guys had in here. We had, you know, we, we uh, gave our razor a run for its money, we had two of the uh, air kick boats, the fishing boats, the two pontoon boats stacked on top of it. We had gas cans, we had a cooler, we had two six gallon containers of water, we had all our camping equipment. I have a camp kitchen that I offer for this also. Um, we had sleeping bags, air mattresses, chairs, fishing poles. Let's see what else? We had a portable shower with the with the uh, pressurized shower system. We had what else Scott? What else didn't we have? We had <laughs> you didn't have there's nothing you didn't have. We had uh, we had a lot of stuff. Made a lot of guys jealous, I think. And, That's outstanding because uh, a lot of times you get out you get out in these razors that are 50 inches wide and you can't really carry much in them. And this allows you to get out into the open country, go wherever you want, set up camp, whether it's in an actual campground or in a backcountry campground or just in a meadow up on the top of a mountain. Yeah, well, the nice you know nice thing about that when you're backpack you know back in the woods camping you know a lot of the nice. A lot of the, the push is to tread lightly. You don't want to damage the environment you're staying in. We have very, very minimal contact with the ground. We're not kicking rocks out of the way. We're not digging trenches to keep the rain coming into the tent. Um, if you put it in a grassy area, you're going to leave and not see anything. It's a very, very environmental friendly camp setup, um, which I like. You know, I like to you know keep it open for the rest of us and make minimal impact that we can. Definitely. Well, Devin, we really appreciate your time out here. This is the perfect trailer for out here. There's ton, there's probably 500 miles of 50 inch wide trails. I mean, I can't even imagine the amount of exploration you could do out here with this thing on a, on a weekend trip or a week long trip for that matter. There's probably 2000 miles of trails out here you could utilize this thing on. And uh, you can find, find uh, Devin's trailers, MIG trailers at simplyruggedtrailers.com. And Devin, we want to thank you for being out here, and uh, we look forward to anything new that you come out with. Okay, appreciate it. Thanks for your time.